Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name is Raymond Yagi, and I'm coming at you from Midwestern University's doctoral program of physical therapy. And today I'm gonna to be covering reverse total shoulder arthroplasties. I'm gonna be kind of covering some clinical findings, some activity limitations or participation restrictions. And I'm gonna be covering or kind of demonstrating some uh, limited motions and kind of show you what it's like prior to the sur surgeries and then kind of like post-surgery, the kind of things that you might want to be looking out for or cautious of. And we'll kind of go from there. So I really hope you guys enjoy. Hey there. Patients that are eligible for the uh, reverse total shoulder arthroplasty include those that have a non-functional or completely torn rotator cuff that just can't be repaired and along with the history of other shoulder arthroplasties that just failed completely. So when you're looking for someone that might be eligible for it, you're gonna be looking for those kind of clinical significances. These activity limitations are reaching from the backside to pull up your pants or even wiping. Now some participation restrictions are reaching in your back pocket to pay for dinner when you're out with your significant other. These violate the uh, surgical restrictions of internal rotation, extension, and adduction of the shoulder, along with weight bearing. This can lead to an anterior or inferior dislocation of the shoulder where the incision was made, and we obviously really don't want that to happen. This can be limited for about 12 weeks post-surgery, so be careful out there. So without trying to cheat and use this other arm, some alternative ways to perform those tasks might be beneficial to have somebody around to help you. Um, or you just might have to get creative with some of the ways to actually be able to perform those said tasks. Post-surgery, patients may find themselves in a sling. So some alternative ways to perform those previous tasks can be as simple as trying to put the wallet in the front pocket. So you can try to perform like this. Get that wallet out. Try not to use the other arms. That's cheating. We're gonna try to pull it back. And there you are, my good sir. Thank you. Honey! Honey! So thanks everybody. Oh wait. Thanks again for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed my uh, review of the reverse total shoulder arthroplasty and some of the complications that can arise from it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps uh, feed a PT. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, thanks again, guys. I uh, hope you have a good one. Bye. So we're talking about reverse arthro, reverse total shoulder arthroplasty. Check it. Check it. Check it. Check it. Yeah, you're ruining my video like that. Just taking a quick video to see which one does better, the iPad or my phone. We'll see audio as well. Figure out which one's best, which one's best. I really need to know what I'm gonna say before I just turn around. The patience, <laughs> a lot of hand motions because I'm Italian.